the oldest Latino civil rights group in the United States is demanding answers after a Los Angeles police officer, firing at an assault suspect in a North Hollywood Burlington store, killed a 14-year-old girl in a dressing room on the other side of a wall. We, will give you a reasonable amount of. Mayor Eric Garcetti on Saturday. The leak, will not let her death become just another statistic. On December 23rd, an LAPD officer responding to the store at 12121 Victory Boulevard for a call about an assault shot a man who shoppers reportedly saw beating a woman with an object, leaving her face bloodied. The officer fired at the man, identified as 24-year-old Daniel Elena Lopez, killing him. He did not have a firearm, police said later. They found what they described as a very heavy lock near the suspect that may have been used in the assault. At least one round from the officer's gun pierced a wall behind the suspect and entered the dressing room, where Valentina Oriana Peralta was shopping with her mother, reportedly trying on dresses for a quinceanera. Police found the teenager dead inside the dressing room when they searched the store. It is indefensible that trained Los Angeles police officers could open fire in a crowded store at the height of Christmas shopping without first knowing for sure if, the suspect, was armed, Garcia said in his street. Would they have done the same thing at the Beverly Hills Center in West Hill? Or Westwood? We hardly think so. The shooting led to anguish in the community over the girl's death and increased the scrutiny of deadly shootings by LAPD officers this year. LAPD officers have shot 37 people so far this year, an increase from the last two years. Officers shot 27 people in 2020 and 26 in 2019. And more police shootings have been fatal this year, 17 dead in 2021, versus 7 in 2020 and 12 in 2019. Just since last Saturday, it's been a total of five people they've shot, said Christian Contreras, a civil rights attorney and a League of United Latin American Citizens advisor.